We support Israel because we believe the Bible. The Bible is a Zionist text. The Bible presents the Jewish people as the apple of God's eye, as the chosen people, as a cherished people, as a covenant people with an eternal, with an eternal covenant to the land that is forever. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a new day in the United States of America. The sleeping giant of Christian Zionism has been awakened. If a line has to be drawn, draw the line around both Christians and Jews. We are united and we are indivisible. We are bound together by the word of God. The roots of Christianity and Jewish and the Jewish people are bound together in the fact that Abraham is the father of all who believe. We are spiritual brothers and what we have in common is far greater than the things we have allowed to separate us over the years. Those of you who have been taught a replacement theology for Israel need to find yourself a new theology. Israel is going to last and endure forever by the mighty hand of Almighty God. Christians owe a debt of gratitude to the Jewish people. The Word of God was written by Jewish people. The patriarchs Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were Jewish. The prophets Ezekiel, Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Zechariah, Amos, Hosea, Joel, Jewish. Not a Baptist in the bunch. Dr. Jerry Falwell told me, don't forget John the Baptist. <laughs> the first family of Christianity was Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, all Jewish. The apostles were Jewish. That's why Jesus said in John 4, salvation is of the Jews. What was he saying? He was saying that if you take away the Jewish contribution from Christianity, there would be no Christianity. Judaism does not need Christianity to explain its existence. But Christianity cannot explain its existence without Judaism. That's why it's called Judeo-Christianity. It's time for Christians really to stop praising the dead Jews of the past, which would be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, while avoiding the Jews that live across the street. That would be called anti-Semitism. And anti-Semitism is sin. And as good Baptists, you know all sin damns the soul. Romans 15, 27 says, for if the Gentiles, that would be you and me, have been partakers of the Jewish spiritual things, it is their duty, ours, to minister to the Jewish people in material things. Based on the authority of the Word of God, when you as a Gentile began to bless the Jewish people in the state of Israel, God is going to begin to do supernatural things that will bless you and change your life forever. I want to say this very clearly. If America turns its back on Israel, God will turn His back on America.